Welcome. This is the energy vibration um, reading for the month of January for the Gemini Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This month, general energy is the energy um, of uh, water. It's the energy of Bohor Dalen, and what that is saying, it's judgment time in January. So, what is going to be happening? What is going to be transpiring in January is that you guys are working with the energy vibration of. Uh, um the magician that is an air energy so that is going to be giving you guys a lot of help the energy of the magician is going to be helping you guys out in the month of january so let's see what is going to be coming in water and magic um now that could make things but it could also be in some places floods and uh, um, uh, um storms uh snowstorms and that sort of a thing so let's see what is coming up for you Gemini Sun Moon Horizon sign in month of January we have water energy with the zodiac energy of hurt and air so the last two weeks of the month of the of January is going to be good for you Gemini so let's see what is coming out in the first week you Gemini's have the energy of the four of cups some regrets or you are finding out something by meditating or connecting with the spirit world you could be finding out something some information is going to be coming true for you Gemini's in the first week in the second week you have the energy of the hermit which is coming to um, shed light on something in your life which is very important because you have found out something which is could be you're balancing out the material and spiritual world and the hermit um, is coming in the hermit could take uh, um, the place of a scorpion um, the energy of the hermit is the energy of the scorpion you guys could be finding out something about uh, a scorpion um, then we have the energy of the five of Pentacles that is coming up which is hardship but it's no hardship you're looking to a closed wall but there are options behind you in the third week and that is going to be the central of the month because uh, there is five weeks in the four weeks you have heartbreak heartbreak that is coming in heartbreak could be coming in because you're feeling as if you're alone and you're feeling heartbroken being alone or being in a moly um, place in your life the fifth week the energy of the full and you start is coming in this is an air energy so in the fifth week you're going to be feeling much better okay third week um fourth week and fifth week are air energies so um that's something so the first week you have emotionals some could be positive emotional or negative emotional another water energy come up in the second week the energy of the hermit the third week you have the air energy of the hurt which is the ending of the zodiac energy of the hurt and the two last week is the hair week which I said would be better the four of swords comes up for you Gemini's in the first week going in the second week now some of you need to take some rest from the vacation and everything that has transpired um, you're finding inner strength you're trying to find inner strength to see a situation what is transpiring around you the energy of the hermit and the five of Pentacles um, the second week going in the third week you have the energy of the six of ones um, so um, some message will be coming in and the, and the hermit could be bringing you some messages then the third week in the fourth week you're dealing with uh, the princess of Pentacles whether this person is is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there are some heartbreak with this person okay for a week going in the fifth week you have to find some balance balancing out a situation with this person or it could be a situation um, which you have to deal with and then you're going to decide I am leaving the situation behind so obviously there is a lot that is going to be going on for you Gemini's in um, this uh, um, this month let's look at the second week because in the second week the hermit come to shed light um, that some of you need rest and some news is going to be coming in and the news that is going to be coming in is from the Knight of Wands the Knight of Wands is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay the Knight of Wands is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so in the third week we have 
uh, outcomes of victory and success um, you could be victorious and successful against the Knight of Wands, who is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarian. Okay, so whatever hardship you were in, there is good news that is going to be coming in. You're going to be victorious at, um, um, against uh, the um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person um, that you was or broken with now you have the energy of the world this is fantastic this is good this is a positive energy the energy of the world is here it's a very very wonderful energy because after the heartbreaks um, there come to an end to something in your life which is very wonderful and very positive as we look at the situation between an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius um, person you're going to be finding People coming together to work with you with a situation you're gonna be finding people coming together to adjust and align whatever the situation was um, whatever that was transpiring because the good news is going to be coming um, about a situation that you had to deal with with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius men where you're victorious about and you're going to be receiving help now as we look at um, the energy of the third week going in the fourth week that you're dealing with the princess of Pentacles which is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there is um, some um, decision that needs to be made okay there is really some decision that needs to be made um, and whatever the decision is um, um, let's look and see first the outcomes of this what is going to be the outcomes the outcomes is that uh, you have the energy of uh, the king of swords so you men are going to be overcoming a situation that you were dealing with okay so you men are going to be working together to bring something um, to balance you men are going to be working together to bring something to balance so now some of you men um, if you're in a relationship with um, a woman um, four to five years and older that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you could be having heartbreaks from this lady this lady could do something to you and you're going to end the relationship and move forward because I'm seeing there a new start that you're leaving a situation behind and moving forward uh, so as we break the months down we have the energy of the four of cups some regrets and that's in the first week there are some regrets you need to have some rest um, against the knight of wands who is between the age of 18 and 45 so it could be a child this could be a child or it could be a partner but you're going to be receiving help to work on a situation okay some of you have to make a decision um, um, whatever the decision is is going to bring something to an end you're going to be finding balance and you're going to be having this new start and remember um, whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring some of you who are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is going to end this relationship and choose to go for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay because of whatever the situation is you're going to be finding out something about that person and by finding out something about that person you're going to decide because that person has broken your heart you're going to decide to choose for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn now the second week um, there is light coming in and shedding a light on something and and it has to do with some good news is going to be coming um, in about someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so this person is between ages of 18 and 45 now um, as we look at that the outcomes is going to be that you're going to be finding people to work together with you to bring something to balance the third week is a um, week of hardship and hardship with the hardship some news is going to be coming out that you're victorious uh, you victoriously come out against the princess of Pentacles who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, but um, the heartbreak leg because you're going to be receiving some good news from the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person so it's a victory that is 
yeah um, this person is going to be helping you out of a hardship okay um, so this is good because it's a hardship where you were stuck with someone who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion that situation was working out whether it was a relationship whether it's a business relationship a friendship or what but this is going to be ending it the four week heartbreaks loss and uh, some of you a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn could or a Virgo could be walking out of your life so some of you are in relationship with a Virgo this person could be walking out of your life there there is coming an end to this relationship and you men have to make a decision because this um, she could um, be finding out also that there was another third party and she is dismissing herself whatever is happening um, you men 45 years and older um, this month is going to have an effect on you guys because you come out as a, the last energy into this month so obviously there is something that is affecting you men um, 45 years and older in the month of January I saw that come up in general energy please go back and listen to the general energy because that was there now remember for an extent to see the extended of this reading you need to choose the link and go and on demand but before we do that um, we want to call out the animal spirit guys to show us what is going to be the message for the Gemini Sun moon and rising what two messages are going to be coming out for the Gemini Sun moon and rising I've got your two messages so this is how we do it we are going to be choosing this is message number one card one and card two now if you choose card one it is the Fox spirit think on your feet you need to think on your feet in this month so you Gemini's who choose card one you need to think on your feet this month whatever is happening you need to think on your feet this month and ending is coming in okay card two um the Fox spirit clear out the clutter clear out the clutter so obviously the month of January it's about clearing the number is 28 so you have 2 plus 8 is 10 10 is the wheel of fortune but it's also a new start so something is ending and a fortune is coming in and a new start is coming in for some of you so this is a beautiful um, beautiful reading um, for you Gemini's um, that is uh, really really wonderful um, whatever is happening you guys are going to be overcoming um, the situation because I'm seeing the ace of swords which is standing in the middle where you're going to be using your intellect to communicate and to resolve a situation okay so you need to declutter it's very important the energy of the frog you need to declutter um, use the spirit of the frog to help you to declutter okay and that's why you need to make a decision in the last week and by making that decision it's going to declutter so we're working with the Syrian star seed and we're calling in them to show us the energy for the Gemini in the month of January the four of orbs the four of swords you have the energy of the four of swords twice so you have a lot of fours so number 44 is going to be your energy vibration for you Gemini's in the month of January um, 44 is going to be the energy vibration for you Gemini in this month number 44 and whenever the four of orbs comes up it is time for you to stop stop the mind stop the thinking connect with yourself it's all about reconnection for you Gemini's in the month of January it's all about reconnecting with yourself in the month of January ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you to all of the people who um, are here please like share these videos thumbs up cross watch cross watch cross watch if this is the first time to my channel please connect with me the thing about it is that I was saying to the rest of the um, the 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 people I don't want to put a name on these videos anymore because if I put a name 
um, people are only going to listen to the video because of the name that is there this videos these are energy vibration reading a lot of people can be saying energy vibration reading but this is energy vibration reading this is a channel session with has a lot of information that is going to be connecting with others and showing other information that is going to be coming up so um, I'm not going to do any more um, reading of where I'm naming them um, because um, it's not fair um, for some people that um, just read um, um, for the name that it is said okay and not for what it is all about so thank you for being here in for the extended reading you can connect with us via the link um, and I'm saying namaste until next time Okay, I'm the moms. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Let's see what's happening. What are the messages? What is really happening with this um, spread? We're going to be looking at everything. So let's see. In the beginning, the first week to the second week, you have to water.